for those of you who may not know me, I'm Ron Erlocker. I uh, have been a rodeo announcer here in North Dakota for some 28 years already, both served on the North Dakota Rodeo Association Board of Directors as well as the Rough Rider Rodeo Association. I am currently the trustee chairman for District 3 out in Western North Dakota. Now with all that in mind, uh, I'm very privileged to have been asked to give you these words on why not my not. Now it all started about two years ago when I had the honor of reading the testimonial for the great bucking horse 44 Magnum owned by Stephen Barb Wagen up in Botano, North Dakota. Uh, the bull why not my not was a finalist that year as well. 44 Magnum was elected by you, the trustees, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. At that time as well, I felt both 44 and why not my not, it was pretty much a toss up as to who should be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And now with the fact that the guys asking me to come and give this presentation to you is really special because this bull came from Western North Dakota as well. It was born and raised here in North Dakota. So with that in mind, uh, we're going to keep moving on with my presentation. The bull was born in 1993, number 311. Why Not My Not was raised by Wayne Eckroth of Flasher, North Dakota, originally named Paranoid. Um, 311 was an NDRA qualifier as a three-year-old. In 1997, he was the Rough Rider Rodeo Association Bull of the Year and the North Dakota Rodeo Association Co-Bull of the Year. The idea for a bull named Why Not My Not came from the My Not Wise Men's Rodeo Club, whose members were looking for a way to promote My Not nationally. The Wise Men's personally raised $5,000 and gave the money to Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame stock contractor Harry Vold, who at that time was the producer of the rodeo in Minot. They gave him the money to purchase a quality bull. In turn, Harry purchased 311 Paranoid from Ekros and renamed him Why Not Minot. Why Not Minot was bucked throughout the US and Canada. Each time he was bucked, he was promoting our great state of North Dakota as well as Minot, North Dakota. He was a qualifier for the National Finals Rodeo on four different years, 1998, 99, 2000, and 2001. A few of his memorable trips include 1999 Cheyenne Frontier Days, Brian Herman, and Why Not Why Not tied the arena record with a 94-point ride. At the 2002 um, Dodge National Circuit Finals Rodeo, that was when it was still in Pocatello, Idaho, Mike Moore rode Why Not Why Not for 91 points. At a PBR event in 2001 at Colorado Springs, Gil Gilbert Carrillo rode Why Not Why Not for 92 points. 2000 NFR, the seventh round, Lee Aiken and 311 Why Not Why Not combined for an 88 point ride. And in 1998, NFR's first round, Tony Mendez scored 85 and a half points for the winning ride as well. Other PBR events include 2001 Norman Curie, a 98 and a half, uh, 2002 Justin McBride, 88 points, 2002 Mike Collins, 88 and a half points. Uh, there was no denying that come rain or shine, thousands of miles underneath him, you could count on him bucking every time, 11 time PRCA stock contractor of the year. Harry Vold said that 311, Moai Not, My Not, was possibly the best bull he had ever hauled. Why Not, My Not bucked for the last time, October 5th, 2002, at the Why Not Wiseman's PRCA Rodeo. His last trip was similar to most of his trips, where the cowboy was dumped on the second or third jump. Why not, why not, then trotted down to the end of the arena, turned around, came halfway back, stopped and looked around as if to say, how about that? And then he trot back to the arena. We would appreciate your support 
for a great bucking bull here in the state of North Dakota who was born and raised in this great state. And we would like to remember him as well. That is for why not, why not in the rodeo livestock category. Thank you.